look at it, Rahul, after Himachal and Karnataka, there was a sense within the Congress, yes, we can take on the BJP in direct fights. Yes, this so-called double-engine uh, Sarkar model doesn't work against anti-incumbency. What he's proven today with Madhya Pradesh is, look, we can get double, uh, 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 the double-engine model working even after 20 years of anti-incumbency. What he's shown with Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh is that we are back in that situation where in one-on-one -on -one fights with the, uh, with the Congress, we are number one. No, but that's where this three-nail becomes so important. Three-nail in the heartland, because if in a direct fight the Congress had won, even one state, even if they'd won Chhattisgarh, they would have said, okay, we have something to claw on to. You played three matches with the BJP, you were beaten in all three. Now, if you're a Congress worker, supporter, leader, in your head you're wondering, what in the world am I supposed to do in 2024? Rahul, there is one statistic data point that always stands out for me. In 2019, 186 seats saw a direct fight between the Congress and the BJP. The BJP won 174 of them. And most of them by a margin of more than 10%. That, to my mind, is where we are uh, in terms of our politics. When oh. it is Congress, and that's where the India Alliance will raise questions now. That if you can't take on the BJP, then allow us also to play the role of uh, first among equals. You can't now be, take sole leadership. I think that is what has changed today. But Rajiv, the Congress Rajiv, would have hoped Rajiv, to take sole you, leadership. Can you but take that group of Kamzor Kadi, Kamzor Kadi, a weak link? Because the others cannot get in. There is a direct no. fight between... Uh, you know, Congress and BJP in, in Gujarat. Can you take Pradesh, students who come last in class, make them take the exam together and make them top the class? Does that work? Like take the last ranking students, put them together and say, now you will top the class. It's not going to happen. You need, in the INDIA also needs to be composed of winners. There are a few regional winners in there, but there need to be some national... No, this is a very important point. Post the big, big victory in Karnataka, the Congress was trying to push this narrative that things have changed. Rahul Gandhi is more focused. Look at how quick he is in responses. It's not like you're sending him a message and he's not replying. He's replying immediately, etc., etc. He's more committed and plugged in than he's been in the past. If you've been founded in this fashion tonight, you know, it really would make one wonder what happens from here. And look at that swagger of the Prime Minister as he walks. Because there were moments, I know for a fact and very good authority, that some of the top leaders in this country were up till 1, 2 at night. Don't ask how I know, but I know that for a fact. They were up really late at night. Up again, 6, 6.30. They were making calls in the morning. These are non-stop tireless workers. You know, we just now tried to get DK Shivkumar on the show. Now, he's an example. He's, he told me, I can't come right away. We've got organizational issues to handle in Telangana. The Congress needs a dozen DK Shivkumars. They need to find people who are willing to put those organizational hard, car, uh, hard yards into building a party. It's not rocket science. I mean, in a country no. so large, you see, the problem is the Congress is the brand name. Uh, uh, Rashid raised the point, Chetan raised the point about India Alliance. The fact is the Congress is the pan-Indian uh, brand name. Now, if your pan-Indian brand name is there, you need people with organizational metal to take no, it forward. You can't have psychophants, you, you can't have hunger. coteries. No. You can't have people chosen in key positions, Rahul, simply because they are close to somebody uh, in, in the power center. To be fair to the BJP, I think this is the difference. The BJP has genuinely tried to create a next generation leadership, which is now prepared. Mr. Modi is a creation of the previous generation. L.K. Advani and others gave them those opportunities that have built them. He needs to do it. No, uh, he needs to do it for the next generation. Fine. I mean, Rajdeep, you made the point, and a lot of people in the morning also made the point that Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra was a success in South India. So, if you are a national party, you are seen as one. You need to know why is it that if you are uh, successful, if your yatra is successful in the southern states, why is it that the moment you cross the Telangana Maharashtra border, it's no longer a success? The other important point because about... uh, because Sudhir, organizationally in Karnataka, the Congress today has far more booth level karyakartas than the BJP. Fair enough. But you don't have that in any of the northern states. Can you match the BJP's organization in Madhya Pradesh, which you know is now becoming a dominant BJP that, party state? But despite that, till about a week ago, everyone was talking about how the Congress no, is it, giving the BJP a run for its money in Madhya Pradesh. 